Welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday. Hello. You don't need any comments anymore. What did Craig Ferguson? Is that what he? He always would tear up the notes for the interview and throw them. He hasn't been on TV in like 10 years. I love Craig Ferguson. <laughs> okay. All right, so. He's a lovely man. Um, this is Rare Whiskey Friday where we're gonna go through one whole line of a brand. Okay, but. Because two different people sent it to us and they're both titans of whiskey. So. But the, with the contest. I know. He doesn't know. Try Whiskey Friday. Yeah. Contest. Yeah. No, I don't know. What? The personal challenge where we try and do it all in one breath. Oh, oh. I forgot about that. It's yeah. been a while. That's been, it's been, it's been almost So I think weeks. you're up. Okay. Okay. Welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday. We're going to go a few and sample a few things. More often than not, they are small craft brands without a large amount of distribution. If I missed a sentence. If you should be so lucky as to live in a region where you can get your hands on this whiskey, you're welcome to the review and thank you to the magnificent bastard who sent it in. <sighs> Even with the pause correction, I still got it in one breath. Absolutely. But I missed the sometimes they're large Snicking brands. You're just knocking off the rest. Knocking yeah. off the rest. Yeah. And take off the rest. Okay. okay. William Shepard, Trash William Titan, Shepard. and yes. Kat and Shane, Kat Rajne and Shane Jeffcoat right. both sent us this bottle. Yes. And then Kat and Shane sent us all the rest of their line. You like the Kat and the Shane? Oh my, there's the whole Busker line. Yeah. Okay. Kat and Shane. So they don't just send whiskey. Like, no. here's an entire line of whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So, Daniel, in the distance, I hear something quite trashy. Yes. Is it a combo? All right. All right. So uh, we're gonna set aside this one's sealed. I still have the the j yeah. I know. I was looking for bottled water, but it turns out we've had a shortage on campus because they scaled back ordering bottles of water. So no building on the property oh, currently has bottled water. Cleanse my palate with <laughs> um, smoked American. Smoked whiskey. American whiskey. Okay. So what do you want to do? Do you want to like side by side all of these, or what? Uh, so what, put the lineup up here. So we're okay. With. So this is Busker. There yeah. is an interesting story about these guys. You remember Walsh whiskey? How many are here? Four. There's four. You remember Walsh whiskey? Okay. We okay. like them. Writer's Tears. Yeah. The Irishman. Yeah, yeah. Among others. So Walsh was growing. They right. source all their stuff from other Irish distilleries. Right. They were growing. They partnered with uh, Dis Disserano, the Italian brand. It makes like an almond liqueur. Okay. It's an Italian liquor company. Sure. And they got money from Disserano, and they they partnered with them. Sure. And they built a real distillery. Yeah. Where they were gonna be like do everything. Yeah. yeah. And then they had creative differences, and they split up. After building. After this. building the whole distillery. Ah. Uh. So Walsh, Bernard, and his family, they got to keep the the brands. Okay. So they walked away with Irishman, Riders Tears, and such. Sure. The Serrano, the Italian company, kept the distillery okay. and named it the Royal Oak Distillery. Okay. That's what this is. So this They're is actually making it. Their whiskey that they made. Yeah. Is it, in, in, it's an Irish distillery. Irish distillery doing all three styles okay. of Irish whiskey. So okay. we have a single malt. Yeah, yeah. A single pot still, okay. single grain, yes. and then their uh, triple cask, which is like a blend of all three, which is like Powers or the Jameson budget line, right. or anyone that's using all three in one blend. Okay. So should we start with the blend and then see if we can figure out the individual components? Sure. Okay. That was easy. 
Okay, so I'm getting that classic Irish butter note for sure. See, I'm not getting as much butteriness as I am. It's like um, a slight, it's like a, like a sweet, light, fruity, and almost like a little cola. It's honey forward. Honey? Honey forward. I, for honestly, I probably shouldn't have rinsed my palate with smoke. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing else. Uh, do you, you don't even have like a trash bottle around here. No, me. I really don't. I was looking for one that like we had been sipping from or something. Yeah. Oh, I, you know what? Ice. Ice will work. Okay. Yeah, there's the honey. Yeah. Honey and uh, what's it called? Those little honeysuckle. Mm hmm. Yeah, some yeah very floral. Super floral. Yeah. Also, I can tell this is going to be not super old and it's going to be proofed kind of. 40. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty low. 40% on the floor. Yeah. It's just a decent budget blended Irish. I would put this a first sip with the proof. It's not going to be very dense. Mm -hmm. This is going to be made for people that aren't looking for the really heavy-handed flavors. Yeah, this is closer to Sexton for me than it is to something like yeah. Jameson. is a little more metallic. Yeah, yeah. And I'm maybe it's getting... closer to Bushmills. Bushmills. Which is always slightly sweeter to me. Okay, and then I'm, there's one. Where's the Irish section? Or Powers, straight back. Okay, yeah, yeah, probably. Right. The budget Powers, though. Right. Like the gold label. There's, there's something that's not, that's not Bushmills. Where is it? Uh, Tullamore. Oh, Tullamore. Yeah, yeah, I would put it on, for me, this would be on on par with like Tullamore. Budget line. Uh, yes. Jameson. Yep. Uh, I get a little bit more richness out of Powers, I think. I do too. A little bit more richness out but of Powers. But I get more metallic out of Jameson. This is less metallic than that. Yeah, yeah. That's, All right. That's probably one of the things, I like Jameson, mm -hmm. but the thing that I don't enjoy is going to be that metallic note. Keep track of where your glasses are in case you want to go back. Because we're shifting to the single grain, right? So this is your column still grain version. Yeah. Oh, this is a little bit more... Uh, more... Th it's like rose petal-y? Yeah, but I still get that like really column still metallicness. What do you mean still? Because I wasn't going to be metallic on this. No, no, I'm saying because it's single grain and there's column still, you can taste it. Or you could smell it anyway. It's that thin vanilla. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I think I enjoy the nose on this more. Way better. Than, I haven't tasted this yet, but I'm enjoying yeah. the nose on. Maybe as a base, it's adding some of the sweetness, but even on the palate, not my favorite. Mm hmm. Mm. But, no, I, I enjoy the taste of this better than the, I do the nose of this. Mm hmm. And there's like, uh, what is it? There's some type of shortbread buttery jam. That's weird. Jam? Yeah, I really? get If you turned. A short, if you turn a shortbread cookie into like a little bit of a jamminess. And the nose or the, no, the taste? The taste. Okay. Yeah. And the metallic note that was in the nose, it's a little less on the taste, but it's still there. I see what you're saying. Maybe if it's like an apricot jam where it's closer to honey than it is to jam. Oh, that could be it. Yeah. Okay. But again, it finishes thin for me. Like oh, the flavors that, that swell one. up as it goes on, that mm -hmm. kind of just drifts off and gets, yeah. So I'm going to do the single malt mm -hmm. first. So this is going to be all malted barley, more Scottish style, right? Mm-hmm. That's the one you're doing. Uh-huh. Right there. That's how I support for you. So, oh, hey, this is way more got musty. Yeah. It backed off the sweetness. Yeah. And got more musty. Musty, and then I'm still getting a little bit of like a greenhouse with some flowers in there. It, kind of like the way a greenhouse is musty, right? Mm -hmm. Again, these are these all 40? No, no, all, no, no. The, it's 40 and yeah. then 44.3, if I remember correctly. Right, so These are all 44.3. Interesting proof. Yeah, it's random. Yeah. But, you know, usually when it's a weird number for proof, I'm thinking, man, they, they must have really dialed, oh. in, dialed in the proof to get an exact thing happening. Yeah. But they did that weird proof across all three. Yeah, all right. I don't know. Taste it, though. That's got actual drama. That's way more interesting. Comparatively. Oh. Comparatively. Comparatively. Now, objectively, it's still 40 mild, approachable, low yeah. proof. You're rubbing shoulders with Jameson, Tullamore, Bushmills. Yeah. yeah. I'm closer to Bushmills because I think I, the malt. I like the way this finishes better. Mm -hmm. This is a better finish. Is it this one we're on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this was a better finish. Me too. Than that. It lingers a little bit longer, got mm -hmm. more oil. All right, now we're going to do the most classic Irish of all pot still. 
This is their single pot still, which okay. means unmalted barley as a percentage of the recipe. Yes. Pot still Irish whiskey. Oh, that went way more wood perfume than the malt. To me, it's grain perfume. This is closest to the blend. Yeah, it does feel like the blend is uh, mostly this and the grain mm -hmm. thins it out a little. Yeah, and but in theory, all three are in there. Comparatively, are you getting like a slight vegetal note on this? Mm-hmm. I, I like the as funky as it is. There's a little funk to it. I like the single malt best. Really? Yeah, the pot still is a little too sweet. This is the pot still. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm leaning at this moment in time. You're leaning for the pot still. I'm leaning towards the pot still. Now going back, I like the single malt better. All right, I'm gonna compare it to the first. Me too. Oh, um, I'm appreciating the first more now. Yep. So I have my my rank. I do too. All right, what's your rank? One, two, three, four. Mine is one, two, three, four. Oh, you went straight to the blend. Interesting. Yeah. First place was pot still. Second right. place was the blend. I actually like the combination of these things. I just mixed these three just to see if I could recreate that. <laughs> just random proportion. Uh, nope. <laughs> this one? Yeah, it's my least favorite. But that's not surprising. Yeah. Single grain coming from Ireland and Scotland is not right. typically my favorite thing. So... Eh, interesting. Yeah, it, it's not going to be, you know, a vast, dense, rich world full of and they're not changing the game mature flavors no but they're, this is like when we try those bourbons we're like yeah they're right down the middle plate of yeah. what bourbon people like in a bourbon yeah but i think people who enjoy um they're not going to spend like a ton of money on mm -hmm. an irish they want something competently well executed jameson yeah tullamore do um and quite frankly irish is a weird category for me because there's some irish bottles that mm -hmm. you know It'll command a premium price, mm -hmm. maybe because an interesting historical context. Right, or, or it's Middleton Rare. Or, yeah, yeah, and then you try it, and like, wait, this costs how much retail? Yeah. And I am getting that metallic note that I should only ever be getting mm. from like the budget stuff. Uh, so, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause but the higher grain blend. Not yeah. bad, and if I'm in a mood for a budget Irish, it's a good contender. Absolutely, and a cool exploration to yeah. get to see all the separate components in the final component. Yeah, have you seen their marketing? No. It's, it's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. America. Is it America? <laughs> yeah, because they're leaning towards like... Uh, like you probably can't buy it in Ireland even though it's Irish? No, I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. It's pretty good. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. There's some people that this was definitely made for. Yeah. Um, I think if... I wasn't already, if I didn't already have a soft spot in my heart for Jameson right. uh, and Powers, yeah, then maybe I would never even be in this scene often enough to right. give it any type of comparison. Comparison? Yeah, yeah. You know uh, you're if you're looking for a little bit more richness, uh, you got to go to Powers. If yeah. you want to back off the metallic note in Jameson, this is a good option. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what that reminds me of is, remember that movie, is it Far and Away? Where uh, is, I can't remember what the name of the movie is. It's Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, and he's they're Irish who who head to America. Oh, Shannon! Why can't you tell me you like my heart, Shannon? <laughs> that reminds me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then your American has, marketing. Just remember, he has to run out with the flag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wish we could. That would be awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. What was the land grab? As part of the Oklahoma land grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you, if you first you plant your flag, and then you get it. Yeah. You get dibs. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's the fighting ceiling drink. If you fight me, I fight your friend. You fight. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Hey. Fight your friend. You've had too much whiskey if you're fighting your friend. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, if you maybe, fight maybe, me, I fight for a friend. Maybe back That's off really the whiskey funny. a little bit. If you're That's the first time I've ever made that mistake, but I actually <laughs> like it more. If you steal, <laughs> may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.